All right, so it is winter, right? Isn't it winter? So we are going into December. The holidays are getting away from me. I feel like the holidays started and the holidays are ending because basically we're getting towards Christmas, New Year's, all of the good stuff. And I decided let's pull some palettes. So the last time I did this, we were going into the fall and I pulled some palettes that I would like to use for fall. And I'll be completely honest, I hardly used any of them because this season has gone by so quickly. And I think everybody, a large group of us, we keep getting sick. And I feel like I keep getting sick. So I finally have not been sick for over a month and I am so excited about that. But it's been like cold after cold after cold. And I haven't really been feeling like putting on a lot of makeup. Lately I have been. I've been getting back into the swing of things because these colds are starting to like go away. But I mean like, oh my goodness, what is going on? But I'm feeling so much better. So I'm hoping that December is going to be a good month. <laughs> Guys, it's been it's been a whirlwind year. Like this year has been insane for me. I am I am so ready for 2023. But anyways, I've got stuff right behind me and I want to show you guys the palettes that I picked to use for December. Wow, yeah, we're in December. Basically in December. So I tried not to exaggerate this time. Even though there was a lot of palettes I wanted to pick, I started putting some of them back because I had to tell myself a few times there's only 31 days in December. And we're already at the end of November when I'm filming this. So like, I need to like not use an eyeshadow palette every day. But first one I picked was NARS. You guys know this is my old faithful. I love this palette and I love this palette for holiday season. I just wanna put this on my eyes right now. It actually looks like I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, but I'm not. I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Glam Retro, Retro Glam which is also on my list, but I love this so, so much. This is one of my favorite all-time palettes and I love pulling it out for holiday season. I just feel like it reminds me of the holidays, so why not pull it out? Um, the other one that I picked was this one. So this is from Pat McGrath. You guys, um, I don't, you know, it's funny. I like to buy Pat McGrath, but I don't use Pat McGrath that often, which is kind of sad because Pat McGrath is very expensive. But this is the Venus in Floors, and I really like this palette, and I like this for holiday. I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this. I should get use out of this. Like this is holiday colors written all over it. For some reason, when I get into December, I think of dark chocolate browns, I think of glitter everywhere, and that's what this is, right? So I should use that. Um, the other one that I picked also from Pat McGrath because I really feel like I should be getting some use out of this and this is such a cute palette. So this is the Midnight Voyage eyeshadow palette. This is the mini. What a cute palette. I did some really pretty eye looks with it when I've used it, but it kind of like stuck it in my drawer and forgot about it and I really think I want to use this again. So this is going to be a, hopefully I'll use this for holiday. Um, I mean, Hello, obviously glam is coming out. This is the season for glam actually for New Year's This is the this is like the new year palette. This is the best palette in the world I love this palette so much. I actually use this year-round but now for smoky eye season for glitter and New Year's and all of that festivities This is the palette and if you have holiday parties, this is where I would go for an eye look I don't think I have a holiday party this year, but if I did, that's what I would wear. Okay, Anastasia, I need to use this. So I feel like this might be the one that I might not use before the end of the year. I hope I do, but it has just those beautiful, rich, kind of like um, earthy tone colors that I do also like to wear during the winter time, especially like, you know, when you're wearing things that are a little bit colder looking, I like to do like more neutral eyes. The thing is, guys, is in South Florida, it's so confusing because when the holidays come around, it's not like everything gets cold and we start to see snow. It's still 80 degrees outside. People are still going to pools and beaches here. So it gets very confusing, like what season we're in. So I wish I was wearing turtlenecks and awesome coats and smoky eyes to kind of like go with my looks. But no, we have very tropical weather and I think I'm gonna force myself to use this because I actually like this palette a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. I don't know why I typically don't use it, but I'm going to, I'm gonna use this because it's so pretty. It's actually kind of like a springy palette to me, but I'm, I wanna use it now for the holidays if I remember. The other one, Patrick Ta's Major Dimension. So this is the burgundy looking one. And the reason that I wanted to use this one is even though I typically don't go for like these colors, these are more like my fallish colors. 
I feel like I skipped fall. Fall, where did it go? Fall didn't exist. I was sick all of October and September. I, I think December is going to get some fall looks because I just feel like it. I feel like I owe it to myself to still have fall. Okay, so the other one is this one here that I'm adding to my holiday palettes and it's this one. Because I spent so much money on this and I'll be honest, like, this was not worth it. I don't even know why I did this, but this was an expensive regret and I feel like I need to use it. So these are beautiful colors, but it's just kind of like a boring palette. And I do feel like these glittery shades here, like that now I can get use out of it, you know? I feel like New Year's is only one day and I've already talked about two palettes that I want to use for New Year's and I probably won't be doing anything, but I... <laughs> I feel like there's glitters, so why not? Trying to um, feel like I waste, didn't waste my money when I bought this palette. Starting to think that I never will get the use out of it that I thought I would, but gold. I feel like this is just something that has to come out every holiday. I mean, it's just, when when else is there to use the gold palette from Natasha than in the holidays? I know she had the mini gold that came out, no baby gold the baby gold that came out this year and a lot of you guys may have picked that up and that will be your first love the gold palette that will be your first introduction to the gold palette but if you have the large size you guys know what i'm talking about this is kind of like a year-long palette for me but during the winter i feel like it just comes out a lot more and oh i just love this palette i really really do Am I missing anything? Oh yeah, I am. I miss the retro. So this is the retro glam from Natasha. I'm adding this because I just picked it up. This is so spring to me. So like, <laughs> I should probably use all of those other palettes before this one, to be honest, because I'm going to be using this in January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, all the way until probably September again, I'll be using this. But I want to use it a little bit this month because it's brand new. I'm also doing my five day challenge with it. So I am going to actually be using it Will I make it into December? I don't know. If I don't make it into December using it, I'll put this one on the bottom of the list because I feel like I am gonna get a lot of use out of it during the springtime, but the other ones will kind of like bump up above it. But yeah, those are all the palettes that I am going to hopefully start using now going into December. These are like my holiday lineup and I'm hoping that I can actually get some eye looks out of them because like I said, all of the other times I've pulled these palettes, I haven't used them because so much stuff has been going on that I haven't had an opportunity. <laughs> oh my God, and oh my gosh. I, I just literally just was making food and it was like one of those like things that you put in the oven and it comes in like in a plastic. So I put it in the oven, in the plastic, put what it said on the oven and it started to melt. So I'm a little bit frustrated right now. So yeah, I'm hoping to use these palettes and I am going to really, really try. I'm gonna try holiday, Christmas, Christmas time. Hopefully it gets a little bit colder here in Florida. Can, can we get a few cold fronts so like I start feeling like it's Christmas, you know? So so I get in that holly jolly mood, I'm, I'm waiting for it. But <laughs> anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave me down below in the comments your lineup for the holidays. What do you guys like to put on your eyes? Is there certain palettes that you're dying to use? Let me know that down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.